Psalm 29.3 reads, The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The sound of water is one of the most calming and relaxing things on earth, whether it be a gurgling brook, a crashing waterfall, an exploding geyser, a roaring ocean, or a torrential rain. Water soothes. Although water is one of the most calming sounds in nature, water itself is the most destructive force in nature. Water is powerful. It can quietly irrigate a farmer's crops or level a city with hurricane force. The voice of the Lord is like many thundering waters rushing forward with power. The children of Israel trembled when they heard it and asked Moses to speak to God instead of them. When we hear water, we should think of God's might and power. But we must also remember that the very powerful God we serve loves each of us very much. Let us pray. Dear Father God, we worship you. You are an awesome and almighty God. You are omnipotent and all power is in you. Without you, we can do nothing. Lord, we thank you for this time of devotion. And we thank you for the ability to come to you in prayer. We ask right now that you would search our hearts. Anything that is not like you, we ask that you take it away in the name of Jesus. Forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Remember our nation today. Remember our leaders. Remember the world leaders. We pray for them and we pray that thou would give them wisdom so they know how to lead our countries and what to do in times of crisis. Lord, you are our source and we depend on you for everything. So we ask that you direct our path this day in the name of Jesus. Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have liked this devotion, please subscribe and like. Thank you, and God bless you.